Hi everyone, it is Monday the 25th of January and this is our jigsaw lesson for the week. So we are now on to piece four of our puzzle dreams and goals and this week we are going to be doing the piece our new challenge. So to be successful today we need to have a positive attitude. Please teach me to be motivated and enthusiastic about achieving my new challenge. And please teach me to know that I am responsible for my own learning and that I can use my strengths as a learner to achieve the challenge. Okay, just going to share our charter. We take turns to speak. We use kind and positive words. We listen to each other. We have the right to pass. We only use names when giving compliments or when being positive. We respect each other's privacy. Confidentiality. Okay, so for our Connect Us today, I want you to have a think about what you're most looking forward to about the challenge that we are going to be doing today. So remember, we started our challenge last week where you planned a garden for a specific person or a specific group of people. And today you are going to be designing that garden. So what is it that you are looking forward to the most? Pause the video here and have a think. Okay, everybody, it's time for our Calm Me. So, I want you to come with me as we help our minds to get peaceful and calm. Sit up nice and straight in your chair. Imagine the golden thread is pulling up gently through the top of your head, stretching your spine so you feel proud and dignified. Keep both feet flat on the floor and your hands loosely in your lap. Close your eyes gently as you ask your mind to focus on your breathing. We are breathing all the time, but usually we don't notice. But now I want you to notice that you are breathing and how nice it feels. Breathe in through your nose and count in your head. One, two, three, four. Slowly, gently. Breathe out again, feeling your tummy. Sink back in and hear your mind silently say, Leave my troubles at the door. In, one, two, three, four. Out, leave my troubles at the door. In, out. Breathe gently and be aware that your body is calming down as well. Your muscles are relaxing, your arms, your shoulders, your tummy, your legs, your face. Everything relaxing so you feel calm and peaceful. Your precious body is relaxed and your mind is feeling calm. Listen carefully again to the chime. And when you can no longer hear any sound, start to bring your body and mind back into the classroom. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and bring that quiet mind back to focus on this moment right now. Let's learn. Okay, we're on to open my mind. I want you to imagine your garden that you planned last week. Are any of these things in it? So you would have thought about the ornaments you were going to have in your garden for your chosen person or chosen type of person. Are any of the things in these pictures going to be in your garden? Pause the video now and have a look. Okay, it's time for tell me or show me. 
Who did you design your garden for? And what are three of the things you would like to put in it? Pause the video now to remind yourself. Maybe have a look at your mind map from last week to remind yourself. And finally, on to let me learn. Okay, so this week I have already said you are going to be designing your garden. So the rest of this lesson will be given to you to design your garden. Remember that you need to keep in mind the people you are designing the garden for at all times. So for example, if you are designing the garden for somebody who is in a wheelchair or is using a walking frame, we don't want to have lots of steps we might not want to have certain play equipment, okay? So you need to be very mindful of what it is you are including in your garden. Is it suitable for the person you are designing it for? Pause the video now, check your mind map and check the accessories that you have planned to put in there. Are all of them appropriate for the person you've designed your garden for? Okay, so for mild, what I would like you to do for mild is to draw your garden. What is it going to look like? So what shape will it be? Where are all of your different ornaments that you have selected? Where are they going to go? So make sure you draw them in, think carefully about where you want everything to go. If you are going to do hot today, you need to draw your garden and label your ornaments. So again, you need to think about what your garden is going to look like. You need to decide where all of your ornaments and accessories are going to go. And then when you've done that, you need to label your ornaments. So using a ruler to label each ornament that you have decided to put into your garden. For spicy, if you want an extra challenge today, it's a bit of a maths challenge for spicy. You have a budget of £1,000. That means that you can't spend more than this amount. So a thousand pounds is the most amount of money you can spend. So I want you to look through your ornaments that you chose last week in your mind map and decide which ones you want to keep. Choose the ornaments which best suit your chosen person. Okay, so you need to make sure that all the ornaments that you've chosen do not add up to more than a thousand pounds. And if they do add up to more than a thousand pounds, you need to get rid of some. So which ones will you cut? Which ones maybe aren't as good for your chosen person as maybe others are? So to do this, you need to look at the price list, which we have emailed to you. Um, and next to each accessory and each object, there is a price. So you need to add up those prices for your ornaments and work out what you're going to need to do. Maybe you're already within your budget, so that's okay. But maybe you have planned to use too many things and that has taken you over the £1,000. Look carefully at the free section. Is there anything free that you could use instead of something which might cost money? Maybe that will help you to save a little bit. Once you have done that and you've worked out your budgeting and you've worked out exactly what you're going to have so that it comes to £1,000 or less, you then need to draw your garden, think about what it's going to look like, think about where your ornaments are going to go and draw those in and then label the ornaments, including the price, so that I can check and see if you've managed to do it within the £1,000 price limit. Okay, what was your total cost? So you can maybe write that at the bottom of your design. What is the total cost of your garden? So that's if you want the extra challenge of spicy. I know lots of you love a little bit of maths and might like that extra challenge. If you don't want to do that extra challenge that's fine but you should know if you are somebody that should be aiming for mild or if you are somebody that should be aiming for hot and likewise you should know if you're somebody that should be aiming for the spicy activity okay okay so if you are going to have a go at the spicy challenge what you are going to need to do first is look at all of the different things that you put into your spider diagram last week and pop a price next to them. So I'm going to do this in a different colour. So my bench was £100, for example. So now I'm just going to go through and write the prices of all of the things that I put in my spider diagram, in my mind map. So now I have added the prices to all of my things and written if I've got some free things as well. So what I need to do now is add up what I've got and then see if I need to get rid of anything. So I'm going to start here with the bench. So I've got £100, £150, £200, £300, £400, £500, £600, £700, £800, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, £1,
250, 300, 350, 450, 750, 800, 900, 1000. And that was a complete accident. So I don't actually need to cut anything from mine. So my total is a thousand pounds, which is the most we can spend. That was a complete accident, I swear. I didn't even mean to do that. Obviously, if your total comes to more than a thousand, you will then need to go through and look at your things and try and decide what you can get rid of. What maybe is not as suitable for your chosen personal group of people than maybe some of the others are. So you need to try and cut it until you are within your £1,000 budget. So you can spend £1,000 or less. Okay, so you need to pause the video now to complete your design. And finally, help me reflect. So by now, you should have completed your garden design, either the mild, the hot or the spicy version. Now what I want you to think about is what you are pleased with today. So I feel pleased with my work today because, okay, and then the second sentence is, one of my strengths today was, what was something you were really good at today that you feel proud of? Okay, thank you everybody for watching. Can't wait to see your designs. Remember you can tweet a picture of them and tag at Swingate Primary or you can email your picture of your garden design to your class teacher to the year three email address. Thanks everyone, see you next time, bye.